guys, welcome to Kingdom Kids Online. Today we'll learn why we obey our parents and leaders and their rules. We'll learn about a boy in the Bible who obeyed. Before we get started, we will start with praise and worship. Then Miss Natali is going to come and bring us the Bible story. Afterward, you and I are gonna do an experiment. And then finally, I'll come back and wrap it up. But before we do anything else, let's pray. God, we thank you for everyone here. We ask that you help us to listen to our parents and leaders as we grow in faith in you. We thank you for sending Jesus to earth so we can be closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Wait, if your adult isn't already with you, call them over and let's get ready for worship. For saving me, thank you, God, for saving me. Rescue from the middle of the ocean deep. Rescue from the middle of the ocean deep. You set my feet on solid ground. You set my feet on solid ground. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Everything I have. Watching Life Tree Kids. Give. 
families, I'm glad you are online with us. Today's story is about a boy named Samuel. Samuel was known in the Bible to be a great prophet when he grew up. When he was young, he was still learning how to hear God's voice. One thing that was unusual about Samuel is that he didn't grow up at home. Instead, he lived in the tabernacle, which was like the church. Turn and talk with your adults about what you think it would be like to live at church. Samuel lived with a man named Eli. Eli was the leader of the tabernacle. We obey our parents and leaders, and Samuel obey Eli. Our story begins with Samuel sound asleep. Have you ever fallen asleep and possibly heard a voice? Turn and talk with your adult. Listen to what happened to Samuel when he fell asleep. One night, Eli was lying down in his usual place. His eyes were becoming so weak he couldn't see very well. Samuel was lying down in the Lord's house. That's where the ark of God was kept. The lamp of God was still burning. The Lord called out to Samuel. Samuel answered, Here I am. He ran over to Eli and said, Here I am, you call out to me. But Eli said, I did not call you. Go back and lie down. So he went and lay down. Samuel had never heard from God before. He didn't know God's voice. Since Eli was the only person around, Samuel thought it must have been Eli. But Eli said he hadn't called, so he told Samuel to go back to bed. Samuel obeyed because we obey our parents and leaders. But then it happened again. Again the Lord called out, Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli. He said, here I am, you call out to me. My son, Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back and lie down. Once again, Samuel gets wrong. Eli hadn't called him. So he obeyed Eli and went back to bed. We obey our parents and leaders. But then it happened one more time. Samuel didn't know the Lord yet. That's because the Lord still hadn't given him a message. The Lord called out for the third time. He said, Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli. He said, here I am. You call out to me. Then Eli realized that the Lord was calling the boy. So Eli told Samuel, Go and lie down. If someone call out to you again, say, Speak, Lord, I am listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Eli realized that God was speaking to Samuel. Why do you think it was so hard for Samuel and Eli to figure out what was happening? Turn and talk with your adult. There's a verse in this story that gives us a clue. Let me read that now. The boy Samuel served the Lord under the direction of Eli. In those days, the Lord didn't give many messages to his people. He didn't give them many visions. Samuel and Eli didn't recognize God's voice at first because few people were hearing God's voice at that time. But Samuel obeyed Eli. When he heard his name called again, he said what Eli advised him to say. Speak, your servant is listening. Then he got to hear God's message. We obey our parents and leaders, and we also obey God. We listen and obey just like Samuel. God can speak to us like he spoke to Samuel. He can also speak to us through our parents and leaders, just like how Eli helped Samuel know how to listen to God. We obey our parents and leaders. God put them in our life to take care of us and help us grow into people who love God. Families, it was great sharing this story with you. In just a minute, some questions are going to come up on the screen. Please use them to further this discussion. And we'll see you soon.
I don't really know what I would do if God spoke to me while I was sleeping. I may think I was dreaming. Now I know that I just need to say, Lord, I am listening and be ready to hear God's message. Let's see what Miss Monique is up to. Hey families, I'm excited to do our experiment. We're learning that we obey our parents and leaders. So let's try an art experiment to see why. Here I have a picture and an empty box. I'm going to try and copy the picture as best as I can. All right, let's see. Um, let's do his head first. This is kind of hard, guys. Um, oh, I think I messed up. Yeah, I think I messed up. Um, uh oh. Yeah, it's not working. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of hard. Maybe I can try something to help me get really close to the picture, like this grid. Let's try it. Okay. Um, so let's count boxes here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So that part on the thing. Hey, this isn't so bad. Guys, I think I can do it. Hey, that was good. It was hard to copy the picture without the grid lines. The grid lines were kind of like rules adults make to help guide you. They can help you grow up to be more like the adults you admire. We obey our parents and leaders and follow their good examples. Families, in the next minute, some questions are going to come up on the screen. I encourage you to take this and discuss what it means to follow the rules and listen to your parents and leaders as a family and as individuals. Have fun in your discussion. Following the rules can help us in so many ways. This week, let's think about how rules help us as a family and help us individually. How we obey our parents and leaders, because that's following one of God's rules too. Families, we invite you to stay connected with us via our Instagram and Facebook pages. You can find us by searching at KLCC Kids. If you have already downloaded our Kingdom Life app, be sure to turn on Kingdom Kids notifications. And if you haven't downloaded it, do it today. It's available in both the Apple and Google Play stores. Have a wonderful rest of the week.